the mountains of Kargil average more than 20,000 feet above sea level. It is cold, dry and windy most of the year. In these barren cold deserts, where just being alive is a struggle against the extremes, one can find the remotest villages of India. They are so cut off from the rest of the world that basic facilities, those daily comforts we take for granted, things like electricity, are yet to reach them. Today, electricity is required for everything and anything. From the household requirements to getting information, lighting up the whole space, security, comfort. We thought a renewable is the only option for electrifying all the unconnected areas in the country. The only energy that can uh, provide you power is solar. Planning and preparation for this project started months ahead. And this particular electrification work is going to be done in 20 villages and we'll transform uh, around 4,000 lives in that area. The last leg of this two-day journey has to be done on foot. With more than a thousand kilos of sensitive equipment, the team turns to the locals for help. The Ichu village is high up in the mountains. The only path is an ancient mule track. If just travelling to these places requires so much effort, what are the chances that development will ever reach them in the near future? The village is tiny with a handful of people. Life here is all about day-to-day -day survival. It becomes increasingly clear that having electricity will make a big difference to the lives of these people. जो ही शाम के टाइम होता था बच्चों के किताबें काफी बंद होता था तो उस लोकल कैंडल पे पढ़ाई करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है उसे धुआं होता है उसके लिए काफी दिक्कत होता है। With electric lights, they could be more productive at night creating handicrafts, which in turn could bring them more income. They could also attract more tourists to use their homestays. Electrification could bring in more livelihood opportunities to these people. With just two days left to complete everything, this whole operation is going to be a race against time. The first step in the process of electrification is to consult with the villagers and decide the exact locations where the lights have to be installed. Because of its ease of installation and high safety record, a DC system was chosen. The electrification project quickly becomes a community effort. All the villagers join in to help the team. The buildings in Ichu are so ancient and fragile. Besides taking care not to damage them, the team also has to ensure all the connections are perfect. By the end of the day, the team finish wiring and installation of holders for the entire village. As the people of Ichu prepare for the night, there is an air of anticipation. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. This is the last night that this village is in darkness. From tomorrow onwards, 
This village will be full of light. Because of the altitude of the Kargil mountains, temperatures can get very low. But India being so close to the equator, radiation levels are surprisingly high as well. This combination of low temperatures and high radiation is ideal for harvesting solar energy. Infosys has tested many technologies available in market. We chose polycrystalline technology here because it works better in high radiation and low ambient temperature. The main challenge while installing the solar panels is the mountainous terrain all around the village. In India, solar panels are normally installed facing the south. This maximizes direct exposure to the sun. But here, the terrain makes it difficult to predict the exact solar path. By consulting with the villagers and using their experience, the team calculates the optimal solar panel tilt angle to maximize efficiency of these panels. Operating a solar DC grid system requires very little technical knowledge. It is a viable power solution for the remote villages of India. Is everyone in position? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn on the main grid. Ready? For the first time ever, electric bulbs light up the Ichu village. All the villagers gather to savor this precious moment. It is a quantum leap forward that could potentially shape their future. After a night of celebration, the villagers experience a big positive outcome of the electrification. With the DC power television, operated with solar power. This is the first time in their lives they are instantly connected to the matters of the world outside. For a village that is totally cut off from civilization, this is a big blessing. Today, Infosys Company, through us, we have a lot of difficulties here. This will be a lot of difficulties. And after this, the life will be a lot of change. Infosys has not only been able to give funds but also been able to provide technology support to GHE. Now we know what kind of solar technology to use, what kind of safety measures to use and also what kind of maintenance we need to do for systems to improve their lifetimes. So far as rural electrification projects are concerned that they are close to our hearts and we want to take it up as, a, as a, one of the challenging the project in our CSR uh, which will have a major impact on the lives of the rural people. So we want to start this particular project in uh, most of the locations where there is no electrification and we want others to get motivated by our initiative. Unless these inaccessible regions and remote regions are connected, are developed, uh, we can't achieve this goal of inclusivity the holistic uh, national approach.